Welcome, beautiful beings of light. How are you all doing? It's been a little while since I brought a video to you. And that's because I've been going through immense change and transition. And I wonder if you can relate. I'm going through, as many of you know who follow my videos, um, a real letting go of the old process. <laughs> As, as we do on our ascension process where all that's you know needing to fall away from our lives falls away and this is um, an immense sort of purification process cleansing process purging on all levels all at once <laughs> um, I must admit I've had a little bit of overwhelm of all the changes I've been going through because it's been immense on all levels, particularly with the solar flares and all since April, really, since the uh, spring equinox. And we're coming up to the summer solstice now, so it'd be really interesting to see what's going to shift here. But I feel a lot that we're going through is through this sort of eclipse sandwich between the spring and autumn eclipses. And there seems to be quite a lot of old cycles ending during this time. And also, you know, there's, there's cycles within cycles within cycles and within cycles, and so much more than we can even comprehend with our mind going on. You know, we can, we can look to the astrology, and there's a lot happening astrologically, and Neptune has now moved into the final, final degrees and minutes of Pisces, which is the end, end, end of, of the zodiac, and that's quite significant for the next year or so, I think. And so a lot of us are closing out old cycles. I know I am from other lifetimes, um, ways of being, karmic cycles. This is just part of the ascension process, I believe, we came here to experience, to really transform through form. You know, we're embodying so much light and I'm embodying so much light at the moment. And so I just wanted to bring you a transmission today because I just felt it, it something had to come through for you today. And if you haven't met me before. Welcome, I'm Emily, I'm a cosmic priestess, so I bring through cosmic light codes to assist the collective, to assist the land um, at this time of ascension, to unravel what needs to be unraveled and to restructure what needs to be restructured that's in the more um, the harmonic with the truth of who we are, to help us remember the truth of who we are and bring our gifts and our light to the world in the way that we came here to. And so it's my honour to be here to assist for this. And so I, if you haven't come across me, what I usually do is share a bit about what I'm going through, just in the, in the hope that by me sharing my stuff, that you might feel less alone. And if you're going through this too, then you um, hopefully will be assisted because what I bring through, through my sharings and through my light codes, assists us all. Yeah, it assists me too. So... I really hope that what I bring through assists you in the most optimal way. I don't know what's going to come through yet. I have no idea, but I just I've been bringing through so many light codes through the last couple of days. And it's actually really interesting because um, I had to put my little kitty cat to sleep on Tuesday and it's Thursday today. So a couple of days ago and it's, it's been immensely sad a time of sadness and grief and loss for me. Yet. Um, a huge amount of, of, of light codes have been coming through this process. You know, sometimes I've been, you know, crying my eyes out and the light and the light language is coming through at the same time. And it's and I feel like this is all part of this letting go process. And the the sometimes the loss of our beloved pets and loved ones and life situation, you know, my external has shed a lot, but also internally I'm shedding a lot. And so I think where many of us are, the alchemy, um, our chemical process we're going through is so fast and so immense but these let these shedding these layers really does allow more light through and the uh, all loss and all endings are all new beginnings and things are so happening so fast that even you know when I lost my dog four years ago I was so gripped by grief and so overwhelmed by that loss but now it's been so interesting losing my cat the build up to losing her was far more intense than when she left and I actually felt when her soul left her body and since then she's not letting me go into grief like massive grief and sadness as soon as I start to you know my mind starts to wander into those sad places she's like mm. I can hear her I can hear this new energy coming in telling me you know to focus on the light and to be in joy 
and I'm actually feeling a lot of joyful frequencies coming through. And since her departure, you know, I'm talking like 48 hours here. Immense light codes are coming through me, new song, new frequencies, like this huge opening. And so I wanted to share that with you. And just if you're going through grief and loss, you know, things are different now. And I'm, I'm sort of, you know, my human is obviously processing that loss and feels sad on some levels. And yet we're so multidimensional now. We've embodied so much of our light and our multidimensionality that you can't just, you know, I'm not doing grief from just my human anymore. I'm doing grief from my multidimensionality, which holds a far different perspective. And it's really a really interesting process. And part of this um, last week since the Sagittarius full moon has been um, very illuminating for me and very healing for me. I've been very fortunate to work with an amazing healer who's been helping me heal um, themes from that full moon, which are um, for me healing uh, from lifetimes from Atlantis. And I've been um, I've got an amazing Akashic reading as well about about that at the same time, which is very interesting. So tied up with all this grief and loss is, is this healing grief and loss from my my lifetime in Atlantis. And that might not be coming up for you at all, but I'm just sharing in case it did, because that was one of the, the themes for this um, for the galactic astrology for this last full moon. And it's interesting how sometimes when we have a loss of like the loss of my kitty cat, um, it can be a catalyst and a um, an opening, a heart opening to really allow deeper levels of, of grief lodged in the system to come out. And like when a beautiful star sister, Becky, friend of mine, um, said, you know, it's like sometimes and she what she experienced when she lost a pet, it was like a clearing of the cash, if, um, if that makes sense, you know, like you're clearing all that backlog, that build up that backlog. And I've been feeling a lot of that actually in my bowels, in my belly, in my intestines and um, root chakra even, you know, a lot of that old, it's been bringing up a lot of old fear and dread and a lot of really deep things that my, are beyond my mental comprehension that go way beyond my, my Mimi, my little cat. And so it's a very interesting time and I'm sure I'm not alone, which is why I'm taking time to share this with you in the hope that this would support you too if you're experiencing this. I can feel some light codes. I'm starting to sway and that usually means some light, low, light language wants to come through. And so I have no idea what this is going to be about, if this is going to be related or not, because sometimes something completely different wants to come through. I mean, we're leaving May energies now entering to June, so it might be something about what's coming up for June. So I'm going to just bring through a light language transmission and see what wants to be shared with all of you, hoping that it, it would most assist, serve and support you in the highest, best way, whatever you're going through. And trust that um, you're always in the right place however however it might seem that you're in the wrong place there's no wrong here really just challenge and all of us all of this is helping us heal grow evolve and expand into who we truly came here to be and there is a massive 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 up living and uprising right now in our power in our expression in our um, remembrance of who we are and, and bringing our gifts and light to the world it's huge and i'm feeling such an immense presence of light and part of that is the solar activity i mean so i <laughs> i was just having this thought today about the effect of the the solar flares and how I f i'm feeling like each solar flare is kind of like jet washing me <laughs> of all the old gunk you know and it's like it feels that powerful it feels like this jet is just coming in and getting all of that old crust off all the old gunk <laughs> and i don't know if you can you you relate to that um massive purging massive alchemy and of course it's all wonderful it just feels like hell sometimes you know right? it feels like oh is this ever going to end but it is the, the what what brings me the hope and the upliftment through this process is that the new i feel the newness come in as the old clears the newness comes in as the old clears the newness comes in and it's so fast and the light codes that are coming through now are just so supportive and empowering so let's see what wants to come through for you all beautiful souls today Thank you, all of you who have been contacting me, emailing me with your beautiful hearts. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed to have such a beautiful community. And if you're not part of my community and do want to be part of it, just check out my details. 
Um, let's get on with the light language transmission now and I invite you to just settle in your heart, feel your feet on the ground and just tune into your body wisdom that always knows best and just tune in. Is this right for you? Is this, this resonate with you? Is this the right time to receive these transmission? You know, these light codes are potent, they're powerful and they are alchemizing. And if you're ready for what wants, if you're feeling yes and ready for this, then great. But if not, this, that's fine. Just give yourself the time and space you need. It's always more optimal when you can settle and not be distracted and not be doing other things when you receive these transmissions because they are healing. So let's see what wants to come through for you. So we've got quite a lot of um, cosmic frequencies, like I'm feeling quite a lot sort of around or lining up to come through all these different frequencies. If I get clarity as I, put, um, as I go through, I will bring what is needed. So we're starting in the heart center. So I'm feeling quite joyful frequencies coming through. Very um, light and playful here. Opening up our hearts even more through this time of transition. <sighs> what feels a deep burden and pain becomes lightness and joy as we alchemize the old. <laughs> Oh, my heart's really fluttering now, so it's not coming through the heart here a lot. Now coming to the solar plexus. So I'm feeling like there's a, a mass reclaiming of our power going on here. Our hearts are opening and we are sinking our hearts with our inner power. We are opening up to new levels of power, of proficiency, of agency. So we can bring this to the world. The time is to stand in our power. So I'm just doing some codes around the solar plexus. I'm bringing these new sort of um, finger codes through, which is really interesting lately. Just in the last week or so. So I'm hearing that there's a reconfiguration going on that can feel very challenging through this jet washing experience, but it is a cleansing and it is just clearing off that crust that shows shows that our true colours beneath. Where they've become dulled. We forgot the colour that we are. We forgot the 
the brightness that we are. Yaka no shana, yaka no shana, yaka no shana, yaka no shana. Yana shoyana, yana shoyana. And part of my light code is, is this is is helping to cleanse that which is obscuring your light. <sighs> like a polishing. <laughs> So going to the lower chakra centers now. Right, we're really going coming into lower centers now for a bit of clearing. So I'm just like releasing um, oh, some um, gunky, sticky stuff here. I feel a lot around the root chakra at the moment, actually, um, generally in my in my own work, and I'm feeling that it's coming in something about really um, being able to receive what we need from the uh, the codes that are coming through. Let's see if more clarity wants to come through about that. So I'm being shown like a big jigsaw puzzle and it's like there's been these missing pieces that have been hidden and buried. So the puzzles always felt incomplete and now we are those are those jigsaw pieces puzzles are coming back. And I'm seeing it in the earth, like something buried within the earth that's been obscured, that has been hidden like hidden gems I'm seeing. Wisdom centers. But repair work is being done to activate this remembrance and this um, deep held wisdom within the earth herself. And the sun is communicating with these centers with three solar flares. Wow, coming through really fast today. You're coming through really fast today. Give me a break. It's a lot for my little mouth. <laughs> you can handle it, I'm hearing. わかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわかのしゃにやはわ
So I'm just feeling like um this energy of like imminent and some imminent is imminent a big shift is imminent this sort of um we suddenly suddenly have access to a lot more of what we're needing for this rebirthing Yana sheyo, yana sheyo, waka no sha, naka no aha, ya, 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 o anisha, no anisha, ya, 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 o te grana kashi ni krosha te gehesi, ya kotrosha na kat grana kashi no kotrosha te gehin, kat tokra shet te grahe te gehi ni aha. I feel like I'm doing some kind of recalibration or preparation for your systems to access these um, energy centers, um, these sort of gems, crystals, whatever it is it within the earth that is that the solar flares are igniting, so we can access this deep remembrance this deep wisdom so I can see what, why I was called to do a transmission today because there's a lot coming through for you. I would love as always to hear how you experience this. We're coming up and down the up and down the, the central channel here. And I feel like I've got a lot of um, a lot of energies coming through, a lot of frequencies from different places today. I'm really feeling the Pleiadian, Pleiadian energy. But also from some very far distant places I'm hearing. I mean the sacral now. Wow, well, this is going on a bit longer than I thought. I oh, quick transmission today. So I feel like whoever's watching this might need need this today. So I'm hoping this supports you. I'm feeling it's quite clearing and I'm doing a lot around the shape sacral now. So right now I'm seeing rain sort of rainbow light frequencies come in. Yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo, 
Ya nasheu, ya nasheu. Oh, some beautiful energy coming in now. Tia na katoa ya na ka inia shanoa ya na ka rana asha. No kotoa hea na ke shanoa re ka teas. No katoa ya na ke shanoa re shita ke na ka tan koshwa ni ya na. Ya na na kotoa ya na ka ni shanoa re shita na katoa shita na ka noa. Ya na ha shi ni oa inia. Ya na oa ya na ka ni shanoa. Tia na oa ya katoa ya na ka shanoa go tika na ka ni shanoa ya ha. O ya na katoa ya na ka shanoa ya ha. Ya na oa ya na ka shanoa ya ha. To ya na asha. Oh, can you hear that? Thunder. It's interesting, thunderstorms coming in as I'm doing this. So this feels a very lovely energy coming in and nourishing. I'm removing something at the same time. So this feels very about the divine feminine. Flowing, it feels very flowing, yeah. Ooh. Yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo, yana sheo. Do a can nickrashan, a catokashan, the crahat or hoshe, ishin, or ishin, or the good or inishan, or ha. One litigation, or do a nika no shwaniaka. A cato ishin, a nushi in ya. Ato e nisha no wa ha. Isha anuka atishe ni ato e kisha na ato e shi ni ha. Ya ka kuto kishe tike ish na ato e shi ni a e shi. Ya kuto e tike ni ka ha unu shi ge ni ha. Waka toro shi tike shi na ka to shi tike shi na ka to shi tike shi na ka to shi tike shi na ha. To a da 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 shi na ka to shi tike 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 shi na ka to shi so the heart now. You got to get the shit to the got to shit to get the 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 so I'm really feeling like this light streaming through the heart center now. It's like, whew, this diamond crystalline light just surging through the heart. Ia katakan nak sanua, tu kerja kita kerja ni ya, tu urus kita kerja nak kau tu kerja ni. Tu ada kata 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 kerja nak kau tu kerja nak kerja tu kerja kita kerja kita kerja nak kau tu kerja kerja nak kau tu kerja kerja nak kau tu kerja kerja ni kata kata tu kerja kata kata kerja kerja ni. Tu ada kata kerja nak kau tu kerja kerja nak kau tu kerja kerja kata kerja ni. Tu ada kata kata kerja 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 nak kau tu kerja 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 ni. Wah kata kerja ni ha, wah tu oh asy. So I can write into the sacral now. तो करा करना करता 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 करता
just hearing we're all being woken up from our slumber <laughs> yeah like it was you know we are aren't we many of more of us are waking up from our slumber what in she niaka? Wano, anu, anu, anu. She and a cotoriana, she and a cotoriana, she and a cotoriana. I'm just hearing a message <laughs> saying um, a message for light workers or if that's how you identify it, to stand strong in your power and your truth, to be in preparation for the changes ahead, to not be daunted, to not fall from your path, to stand your ground. <laughs> We're all preparing for this. We are here for this. The times ahead are wondrous, is the word I'm hearing. Wondrous. And now we close. With this we close. Yes, thank you. And I'm just hearing the light within me sees the light within you. We are as one the light. And so we close. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessings to you all. Thank you. So I hope that assisted you. Take a time to integrate that. <laughs> so interesting how I show up and never know what's going to come through. And that was quite a strong transmission, which is very interesting considering what I've been going through in my own life. But um, obviously I've cleared out a lot to be able to bring through these light codes for you all at this time. And I'll com continue to clear, I'm sure, but this is really exciting. I feel like we are um, emerging stronger, brighter, lighter. Yeah, and preparing for these big changes. I feel like, we, you know, we are here as volunteers to assist, serve and support and to live in joy <laughs> and freedom. So exciting times are here for us all. And it's my honour to be able to bring through these transmissions for all of you and I really hope this resonated and if you're still here watching thank you and please comment I would love to read your comments I'll do always always do my best to reply to your comments because I I love reading them so much it's always amazes me what you experience during these transmissions it's really really profound and um, it's just so lovely that we're all here together in this you know and each one of you is a vital part to the whole <laughs> You know, we are all part of this divine ecosystem. And I'm here doing my bit. And so thank you for being here with me. And as always, check out my free offerings. I have a free weekly light language transmission stroke heart coherence called the Heart Haven. And you're welcome to join that. It's free. And I have a free light language transmission. And check out my offerings. And I would love to connect with you further. 
I'm wishing you a beautiful day or night ahead wherever you are through these times. You're doing amazing. <laughs> We're here for this. And um, I'm so grateful to be here bringing my light with you all. So take care. Lots of love.